the fresh aquarium, most of us do water changes periodically to lower the concentration of nitrates. However, aquariums that contain anaerobic bacteria may not need to do frequent water changes, if any, because the anaerobic bacteria converts the nitrate to nitrogen gas, which then floats to the surface of the aquarium and gases off into the atmosphere. To go more into detail, we first need to have an understanding of the meaning of a few words, then the rest of the information in this video will be much easier to understand. First, we need to know what nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria is. Nitrifying bacteria is microorganisms that are important in the nitrogen cycle as they convert ammonia to nitrates. Some species of, the, species of these organisms include nitrosomnas and nitrobacter. These bacteria get their energy from the oxidization of inorganic nitrogen compounds like nitrite, nitrate, and ammonium. Denitrifying bacteria is microorganisms that reduce nitrite and nitrate to gases forms of nitrogen. Denitrification is a response to changes in the oxygen concentrations of their immediate environment. Next, what is an oxidizing agent? It's an element that attracts electrons from a compound. Oxygen is the most effective oxidizing agent. There are also less effective oxidizing agents that can be used when there is no oxygen. For example, Nitrogen is used as the oxidizing agent during the denitrification process. Oxidization allows nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria to consume energy from their food sources. What happens is an oxidizing agent like oxygen or nitrogen attracts electrons from a chemical compound, the reducing agent, to form a new chemical compound. This process releases energy stored in the reducing agent, which bacteria then consumes. When looking at this in the aquarium, it's easier explained. For example, aerobic bacteria breathes in oxygen and uses it to convert ammonia into nitrite and energy. Another aerobic bacteria then does the same thing but converts nitrite to nitrate. So in other words, the ammonia is the food source that the bacteria gets its energy from. The oxygen is simply an oxidizing agent that helps the bacteria accomplish this, whereas anaerobic bacteria is to convert carbon food sources into nitrogen gas and energy. So during nitrification, the thing us fish keepers want to get rid of like ammonia and nitrite are the food sources for the bacteria. During denitrification, the food source is primarily organic carbon compounds such as fish waste, decaying plant material, and waste from other microbial life living in the substrate. To sum it all up, aerobic bacteria require oxygen while anaerobic bacteria must live in, a, in environments with little to no oxygen. They are both responsible for the nitrification and denitrification of our aquariums. Aerobic nitrifying bacteria convert ammonia into nitrate. Anaerobic denitrifying bacteria convert nitrate into nitrogen gas. This is just one secret to, keep, to keeping a natural tank without having to do water changes. But you must have a deep substrate type setup in your fish tank for this process to work. One inch of soil capped with a minimum two inches of sand and of course lots of plants. My next video will be on how to set up a deep substrate aquarium so subscribe so you don't miss out and I know this was a lot of information to take in of course you can always play back this video thanks for watching peace